Hello my friends, in ancient Rome, the general rule was that slaves could be freely tortured. In fact, I strongly recommend that any free man accused of a crime have his slaves tortured in his stead, often to death, until a verdict is reached. We show you ten terrifying types of torture that were used in ancient Rome that you have never heard of before. 10. Stitched in Donkey If you're looking for cruel and unusual forms of torture, look no further than ancient Rome. Take, for example, the torture described by Apuleius, the golden ass, and Lucian, Lucius, or the ass the donkey is slaughtered, its stomach is cut open, and its entrails are removed. The accused was then stripped of his clothes and placed in the stomach of the animal. The abdomen was sutured shut, leaving only the accused head outside, preventing suffocation but prolonging the suffering. The donkey's carcass was kept in the sun. It will begin to decompose, with the living victim inside being cooked by the heat. Worms were crawling all over the accused, and vultures were pecking at the decomposing flesh of the animal. Death, although welcome, came slowly to the victim of this torture. 9. Feed for Wild Boars St. Gregory described the horrific torture to which young women were subjected at the hands of the people of Heliopolis during Roman rule, any virgin who was to be subjected to this torture was first given to the gladiators. After the young woman was no longer a virgin, she was stripped naked in public, and her stomach was slit, causing her insides to spill out. It was stuffed with handfuls of barley, and sewn back together, only to be given to the wild boars. She'll be torn after that. 8. To Cut In ancient Rome, the higher your status, the more people you were allowed to kill without consequences. For example, the emperor would deal with anyone he wanted. A general could move against a lieutenant or an ordinary citizen, and soldiers could go after ordinary citizens. Climbing the social ladder was forbidden. If an ordinary citizen decided to penetrate an unwilling soldier, the punishment was public castration. If a soldier willingly allowed an ordinary citizen to penetrate him, he would be publicly disemboweled. These rules, coupled with true love between men, really muddy the waters. It was easy for anyone to accuse a man of breaking rank or willingly submitting to penetration by a man of lesser status. 7. Bona Culi. The Romans also began to use pina culiae, which meant punishment for the sack. The criminal was sewn into a basic leather bag and drowned, death the ultimate goal. The general consensus is that the Pina Culliae first appeared in Titus Livy's History of Rome. In it, Livy describes how Marcus Publius Molylus was sewn up in a sack and thrown into the sea in 101 BC for killing his mother. Livy's version of events seems tame compared to later versions of the punishment, which involved the use of live animals. According to Emperor Justinian's laws from 530 AD, this is not an execution by sword or fire, or by any other form of ordinary punishment, but the criminal is sewn up in a sack with a dog and a rooster. And a snake and a monkey. And in this dreary prison he is cast into the sea or the river, fortunately, the ancient Romans retained this rarely given punishment for parricide, that is, the killing of a parent or other relative. 6. The Tortured Senator Emperor Caligula was just as cruel as old Tiberius. At one point, he had an open slot in the Senate. The senator survived, and Caligula ordered his eyes removed. Hot pliers were then used to remove his internal organs. To add insult to injury, the senator was cut in half and torn to pieces. According to Roman belief, Death was not punishment, but liberation. Torture was punishment, and death was allowed only after a certain amount of pain and horror had been felt. 5. Nailed into a barrel. Some people were meant to suffer longer than others before triggering a beautiful death. During the reign of Emperor Domitian, Christians were tortured in the most horrific ways. One of the most disgusting tortures that was performed was smearing a Christian with honey and milk. 
the victim was then pinned to a barrel and force-fed food infested with parasites. The parasites feed on the entrails of the victim, whose body has begun to rot inside the barrel. After about two weeks of this torture, the victim finally died and became a martyr for the Christian religion. 4. Buried Alive Emperor Nero was happy to bury people alive. He reserved this punishment almost exclusively on virgins who broke their vows of chastity. In one account, Nero forced himself on the priestess Rubria. As punishment, she was buried inside a small cave and left to starve. Another torture that Nero supported was having the accused dig his own grave. After digging, a stake was placed inside the grave. The accused was then tied and pushed into the grave. If his crime is minor, he will be pushed until the stake pierces his heart. Anyone convicted of a heinous crime was driven until the stake mortally wounded him. He was then left to die in excruciating pain or be buried alive. 3. Eaten through the middle. Executioners often used animals to carry out their brutal acts, as was the case with cauldron torture. For this particular cruelty, a starving animal, such as a rat, dog, or cat, was placed inside a small cauldron. The opening of the cauldron was then fixed on the defendant's stomach. The executioner held a flame at the back of the cauldron, making the inside extremely hot. The animal will panic and try to escape. The only soft floor that was able to make its way out was through the accused abdomen. 2. Be Basket One bizarre form of torture involved stripping a person naked and placing them in a large, loosely woven basket. The basket was then lifted into a tree containing a large active beehive. The bees quickly got angry and stung the person inside the basket to death. The accused was supposed to suffer in agony for as long as possible. However, there have been cases where the victim of this torture died relatively quickly due to an allergy to be stings. 1. Solid. The ancient Romans loved good steel. It was at one time the primary method used to torture and kill countless numbers of slaves. Crucifixion did not always involve nailing the accused to a cross. Sometimes, the accused was stripped naked, hooded, and tied to a cross or thorn. Then he was flogged, sometimes, until he died. If the accused was not supposed to die by continuous flogging, the next procedure involved pinning his hands to the crossbar. He was then lifted onto a planted pole, and his feet were nailed to the pole. He may be left there to die a slow death, or his thighs may be broken to help hasten his end. In some cases, the accused may be hung upside down from the pole. Other times, the executioner would drive the shaft through the accused genitals. The methods used varied from executioner to executioner, with no specific method of crucifixion for everyone. Before we finish the video, leave us your comments about the most horrific types of torture that you have never heard of before and that gave him goosebumps. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell to receive upcoming videos, and press like. See you soon.